All right, I'm here with Allison Lee, a leader in the clubhouse right now, shooting five under. Can you just talk us through your round today and those seven birdies you had out there? Yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I made a lot of putts. Um, you know, putting has been my weakest point over this past year. I mean, you could just look at my stats and that's something I've been trying really hard to work on. Um, and yeah, today was one of those days where, I mean, I, I even laughed at some of the putts I made because I just wasn't expecting it to go in. And after the first few holes, making a few good putts really gave me a lot of confidence going into the rest of the round. And every single time I had a birdie chance, um, I really looked at it as if like, I, I can make this. And I, that's what I said to myself. Um, Cause for me, especially off the tee here, it's very visually intimidating. Um, the rough was fairly thick um for me today in certain areas if you get in the rough you might not have a good lie and you got the street you know hanging over on some holes so it is a bit visually intimidating for me um but yeah overall i feel really solid about my game um then yesterday was one of those days those days the putter worked and five under i'm really happy with the start of my round absolutely and then you mentioned your putting as well what are some of those things that specifically you've been doing to improve your putting um, it's honestly been a lot of mental, um, you know, I, I really believe deep down I've always been a really good putter and just for some reason this year I just haven't felt comfortable um, over the ball. Um, I actually was speaking to my swing coach and he was so frustrated with me because uh, he was looking at my stats and I want to say thanks to the KPMG insights, um, I was ranked like 15th for strokes gain from approach to tee and my putting uh, I mean, it was pretty bad. <laughs> so that's obviously what my game was lacking. Um, I heard a putting coach right before US Open. Um, he works with a few girls out here and, and he's been amazing. And we've been working a lot on not so much my stroke, more so like mental uh, speed, um, mm -hmm. more feel, stuff like that. And I think it's really helped. And then what can you say as well to the Evian Resort Golf Club and the conditions out here and as well as like the community in Evian? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to play in Evian in the summertime. Um, this is my ninth year on tour, so, you know, I've played out here when we would play later in the year with a lot of rain and cold. So it's nice to be here when it's sunny and warm. Um, and yeah, I thought the conditions were great. Uh, the fairways are nice, the greens are rolling pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I can only say good things since I played well, too. So uh, it looked perfect out there for me. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I feel like you've been shooting some really good rounds. It's just been putting all four of them together. When you have a round like this to open, how do you kind of calm yourself down, reset, and to put three more rounds like that together? Yeah, I mean, you would think if I have a good round, or whether it's the first day, second day, all three days going into the final round, it puts me in a better state of mind. But honestly, sometimes it doesn't. And I said, especially a course like this, when it's a little difficult off the tee, it's, it just takes a lot of positive self-talk. Um, and trying the best I can to stay confident and the and confident and in the moment, because um, a lot of the time, if you see your name at the top of the leaderboard, it is a little bit more nerve wracking and uh, a little bit more anxiety and adrenaline running through the veins. So just trying my best to stay calm and not worry about that too much. And like I said, I've been putting great, just trying to focus on making birdies and not making uh, too many mistakes. So yeah. We see players out here play well that have played this golf course a number of times. I think local knowledge helps at this point. How have you managed to adjust to like these side hill lies that you get pretty much at every single approach shot? Yeah, 100%. Um, this course is pretty quirky and it is challenging. Um, you have to know where to land it. You have to know where the good spots are and the bad spots are, obviously to avoid the bad spots. Um, a number of my birdies today were because I just kind of landed in the right spot. It wasn't necessarily because I was going at the pin or um, you know getting taking an aggressive line um, so sometimes when you take a little bit of a different line than you're used to you kind of have to trust the fact that the slope is going to bring the ball to the pin um, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't today was one of those days where it worked out for me um, so yeah I mean you do need a little bit of luck on a course like this um, and definitely a lot of local knowledge Alison, you've mentioned intimidating tee shots a few times. What, what do you tell yourself when you, you know, looking down the fairway and you think, uh oh? Yeah, I mean, I just have to focus on my target. Um, it's very easy, you know, there's a lot of trees, a lot of stuff going on. It's very easy to kind of be looking left and right. Um, but you just got to stay focused on your target. I would say just have that one swing thought and just trust it. Um, 
I know that's worked well for me and no matter how many negative thoughts I have, I just tell myself, you know, if I do this one move, if I trust this one swing thought, it will go straight. Um, and sometimes it, sometimes it won't, you know, you will have bad tee shots here and there. I had a few bad ones today, but you just kind of have to brush it off and really trust and have that one swing thought to keep you focused and not get your mind wandering too much and take yourself to too much of a negative place. Because on a course like this, I mean, if you hit a grade, if you hit greens, birdies are possible, but also if you don't hit in the right spot, it's very easy to make a bogey as well. So yeah. What are you gonna do for the rest of the day? Well, I'm gonna go track my suitcase <laughs> and hope that, you know, make sure everything's there. Um, maybe take a little nap. I actually slept through the night last night, so I might not have to do that. Um, but I'm gonna send Delta a pretty nasty email. <laughs> okay. So, yep. All right, that's all for me. Thank you. Thanks. Can I Thank just you. have a